Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Spark program. Now we are going to go through the criteria that the government is going to use to implement, to pick the roads to be fixed under this program. So the government is going to spend $40 billion to fix 2,000 roads in Jamaica. Now they had said community roads, but the list so far has roads that, well, I'm not sure what they consider a community road. But we are actually on Windward Road. We're at the intersection of Windward Road and Mountain View Avenue. And you can see the road is in a terrible state. So I'm hoping that this will be one of the roads that they fix under the Spark program. Now, Jamaica is doing an excellent job at building highways and fixing main roads because you have another program the capex program that's going to fix six main roads and jamaica is building highways at an incredible pace but the problem is these community roads they are in a terrible state terrible so under this program now you would hope the road that you have to drive on to get to your business place or your school or your home will be one that is fixed so today now we are going to go through the criteria that the government put out that the criteria they're going to use to select the 2000 roads to be fixed so the government we're going to go through an article that gives some more information on it the government is preparing to implement a 40 billion road improvement project to modernize more than 2,000 roads island-wide under the shared prosperity through accelerated improvement to our road network spark program the road network is a backbone of our economy connecting businesses industries and individuals across the length and breadth of the country this administration considers the intervention as an emergency within the context of road related injuries and fatalities as well as deteriorating state of the public thoroughfares resulting from decades of underinvestment mr warmington said Mr. Warmington noted that the vision is to create a transport network that is safe, efficient, and reliable to meet Jamaica's economic and social needs. He said the goal is to improve mobility, safety, and accessibility, promote economic development, and enhance the well-being and road experience quality for local communities and businesses. So the key objectives of the program include providing the target, the targeted road surfaces and intersections along targeted urban corridors, installing localized drainage, culverts, etc., improving road safety through the construction of retaining walls and installation of guardrails, and installing, installing pedestrian facilities at selected locations. The expected outcome the expected outcomes include improved road safety, better localized drainage and reduced travel time, vehicle operating costs and motor vehicle carbon emissions. Mr. Warmington explained that six criteria would determine the roads which receive attention under the program. They include traffic volume, the condition of the road, safety factors such as reducing accidents or increasing emergency response times, cost, ease of implementation, and social impacts such as increased access to services or decreased social cohesion. So that is the criteria that they are going to use to determine the the roads to be fixed. Let's go through them again. Traffic volume, the condition of the road, safety factors, 
cost, ease of implementation, and social impact. Now, that probably excludes community roads if they use that criteria because traffic volume the community road i mean the main roads have more traffic than the community roads but i'm not sure i mean it's let's put it this way guys what do you think about the criteria they're using to select the 2000 roads to be fixed traffic volume which that doesn't mean the road that dead end road that people live on it that is our main road if they're going to use traffic volume Condition of the road, well, I think every road in Jamaica would fall under condition of the road. I, let's not, let's not, let's not go through the itemized list. But basically, that is a criteria they're going to use to select the 2000 roads. Now, I noticed in this article, they never said community roads. The government is preparing to implement a 40 billion road improvement project to modernize more than 2,000 roads island-wide. But I'm almost sure when the program was first announced, it said 2,000 community roads. There, the heading is government preparing to implement 40 billion spark program. So I'm not sure if they have changed it because based on the criteria, and there's nothing wrong if they change it because, you know, things change over time. But originally, it had it was specific to community roads. But I noticed this latest update that was put out um, is a little different. And also, the criteria that they're using to select the 2,000 roads is if they... I guess it's left to interpretation, but that kind of criteria is more focused towards main roads. So guys, let me know what you think about the Spark program and the criteria they're using to select the 2000 roads. And also, when is it going to start? I haven't seen any concrete date. All right, guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.